Hey everybody, welcome back to these nerdy things. Uh, today I've got five uh, Keldheim Set Booster Blister Packs. Try saying that ten times fast. Um, haven't opened any of these uh, Set Boosters up, but I thought I'd give it a shot now. So I always like to open at least a few of everything um, when it's new. So I think it's starts with the art card here okay got the art card all right commons there provoke the trolls knotted slumber mold quake bringer for first mythic I actually got one of these in foil that is turning into a Pringle now because I guess we just can't make them like we used to, but uh, got one of those, a Spirit of Aldergard, and a Foiled Squash. So this is the uh, slot for the list, but I would be surprised. I got five of them, so technically I should get one at least, but I feel like I have like below average luck when it comes to the art cards. Or not, sorry, not the art card, the, uh, the list. So we'll see. Unfortunately, I saw that was, I should stop opening it so that I can see that. But there's the art card. Land. Commons. Lots of commons in this bad boy. Thermantle Striker. Return Upon the Tide. Dream and Devourer. This is the one that gives everything foretell. And then we have a Agar, the Freezing Flame, and a Brine, uh, sorry, Brine Barrow Intruder foil. All right, almost halfway through. So we did get one Mythic, Quakebringer. I don't think it's all that great of a Mythic. Um, but it's a mythic nonetheless, I guess. Everyone usually says in these videos, I'll take it. Okay, I didn't look at the back this time. Oh, foiled snow-covered plains. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like foil lands. Foil lands are pretty cool. No matter what set they're in. Bling out your path to the world tree. The trickster god's heist. And then we have Fiara's Retribution. Crippling Fear, so we got a double rare pack. Then we have a Sculptor of Winter. And a, oh, a three rare pack. This is a Foiled Immerstern Predator. Or pre pre yeah, Predator. It's a Vampire Dragon, which is really cool, actually, because I love vampires and I love dragons. Those are, like, probably my two favorite tribals. Um... Unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of this card. I wish it was kind of cooler, but it's not bad. So, and then of course, we do not get a list card. We have two more packs. I don't know what it is about these set boosters, but I, I've seen some people and they'll get them like once, like every other pack or every two or three packs. And it's like me, it's like, nope. Riverwood Falls, foil, foil land. Okay, we have Morite of the Frost, Icebind Pillar, Narfi, Betrayer King. Ooh, we have a nice Asika, God of the Tree. This is the extended art. Prismatic Bridge. That's really cool. If you can get that out, that is a very, very, very nice card. Like that. Then we have a Vega. I, this art is pretty cool. That art is pretty cool, I gotta admit. Um, and then another Foil Rare, Crippling Fear. Um, not a great card, but and of course, no. Look at that. One in every four packs, huh? Yeah. Seems about right. But I guess we've been doing good with the rares, and I, we got two mythics, and that last, the one pack we got three rares. So I mean, I guess I can't complain too much. But 
I don't know that. I also don't do too well on the uh, art cards, but in terms of the, what is there, the gold, golden stamped ones. If the golden stamped ones were like numbered, that would be about 10 times cooler. Oh wow, are there gonna be no, no uncommons in this one? So we have one uncommon, then we have Saruf Realm Eater. And then we are into a Berg Strider. And then we have an Ice Hide Troll. Is this, oh my gosh, it's actually a card from the list. No, it's not. Wow. Well, we struck out on the list, but we got an Asika um, alternate. Got two foiled, but see, my only, my only um, gripe is that I guarantee these two cards are going to bring them. My other ones did, so I don't know what's going on. So, alrighty, thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, have a good one.